What's up, guys, and welcome, Daily Theologians. You've no doubt heard about the Steve Wasson scandal, and I wanted to take some time before weighing in. Is he headed to hell? Is he beyond saving? Is he disqualified from ministry? Well, the answers probably won't surprise you, but might not be what you think. So you're not going to want to miss this one. Stick around and check this out. So off the curb, a while back, interviewed Steve Lawson on this very topic of women and what should people do and what should someone going into the ministry think about? Give them, Steve. Well, uh, it begins with their own personal heart and their walk with the Lord. And um, you really, you've got to be a godly man. And there are a lot of young men who want to go into the ministry who are trying to be as much like the world as they can be, and they need to be as much like heaven as they can be. And so it really begins with their own personal character and the integrity of their life. And it begins with the Word of God in their life. Uh, Psalm 119 verse 9 says, How shall a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word. Then verse 11, Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. So for men going into the ministry, so his advice is the word of God, character, all things that Steve Lawson has horribly failed in. And of course, he is disqualified from the ministry. But the take on this that I want people to stick around for is that I think a lot of times we think we are well above something like this or that something like this could never happen or that he's beyond being saved, that he must be lost and knew the whole time. And I don't think any of that is actually the case. So I want to go through point by point what I think is actually going on here. So number one, I think Steve Lawson needs some monumental repentance. Now, it appears that his church uh, is handling this well, and I'll get to their statement in just a minute. But saving repentance is a gospel grace in which those who are made aware by the Holy Spirit of their many evils of their sin by faith in Christ humble themselves for it with godly sorrow, hatred of it, self-loathing. They pray for pardon and strength and grace to determine and endeavor by the provisions from the Spirit to live before God in a well-pleasing way in everything. So there needs to be biblical repentance because what he did was essentially... Uh, it, it appears to be uh, adultery. Like I, you can sugarcoat it. You can can say, well, we're not sure yet. And we're not sure yet, but it says an improper relationship with a woman. So the elders at Trinity Baptist Church of Dallas regretfully announced the effective immediately. Steve Lawson has been removed indefinitely from all ministry activities at Trinity Bible Church of Dallas. Several days ago, the elders at Trinity Bible Church were informed by Steve Lawson of an inappropriate relationship that he's had with a woman. The elders met Steve, continue alongside him, pray for him. The ultimate goal of his personal repentance, Steve will no longer be compensated by Trinity Bible Church of Dallas. So pretty clear that this was uh, involving a woman and uh, something that was a horrible uh, reproach on the church and others. People are angry. Many people are are probably overreacting to uh, this, I, I think, in some ways. What they're missing in this is grace. What they're missing is the fact that perseverance is going to continue prayerfully for Steve Lawson. So if you're excited that Steve Lawson has disqualified himself and shamed the church and brought the charge of hypocrisy upon us all, uh, then you're missing the point. If you're in a rage, uh, he's not your pastor and he shouldn't be your pastor. Now, I love Steve Lawson and have so for a long time on this channel. Uh, but it doesn't mean that he's your pastor or my pastor or anyone's pastor. It's that his teaching is solid. So how could somebody with solid teaching and right theology fall into sin? Well, it's easy. He's a guy and he allowed himself to be tempted, probably incrementally to the point where he did something that demonstrates that he needs to either be born again or needs to repent. Perseverance, 17.3. They may fall into grievous sins and continue in them for a time due to the temptation of Satan in the world, the strength and corruption remaining in them and the neglect of means of the preservation. In so doing, they incur God's displeasure and grieve his Holy Spirit. Their graces and comforts become impaired. Their hearts are hardened, their conscience wounded. They hurt and scandalize others and bring temporary judgment on themselves. Nevertheless, they will renew their repentance and be preserved through faith in Christ Jesus to the end. This is our hope for Steve. And for every person, uh, we we can't, you can't have this self-righteous anger towards, you were a teacher, how could you? I've been there, did it to uh, to someone once, uh, for something 
uh, not this, but but along these lines. And I'm telling you guys, it's not the right way to respond. We should be sad. We should be uh, in prayerful love, praying for him to be restored, not to the ministry. He is disqualified from ministry forever. He's done. But uh, as a Christian, you know, there aren't two classes of Christian. There aren't ministering Christians and non-ministry Christians that are paid and unpaid. It's all, we're all just sinners saved by grace. Now, this is a serious thing, and I don't want to underplay it. I think the lessons we can learn, number one, not many of you should become teachers. You know that you will, who teach will be gar, uh, judged with greater strictness. So consider if you want to be a teacher, if that is really something that you can do. And the other thing I think that is really telling about this all is the travel schedules. And if you're traveling for ministry, you need to be very careful. You need to guard your heart above all things. Um, I don't know exactly what his schedule was, but being away from your church, not going with your family. I mean, these are all things like you think you can handle it. But I'm telling you, I think uh, many men in a situation with women is not going to be good. No matter how much you know the Bible, no matter how strong you are, you think you are. These temptations, guys, I mean, and I'm not saying he's right for having done it again. This is totally evil, wrong. He needs to repent. He needs to be born again. I think he's born again. I think this is a sin that people can fall into. And uh, we need to pray that he's restored in love, you know, and continues in the faith. Um, but but you put guys around this situation. I don't think it's wise. And I think traveling as a man by yourself is unwise. I think you should take your family. I think you should go together with your, at very least with your wife, his wife, um, who we need to pray for as well, because she is definitely likely a victim in this. And that all people would come to uh, saving knowledge of the grace of God and faith in the life, death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ. So perseverance is the key, the call for the day for you, for all. Uh, they may fall into grievous sins, continuing them for a time. Okay, these are things, but they're, they will be uh, prayerfully restored. So 17.3 is really the point. And then repentance, people need to repent. And you, you've got to see that the core issue here is that imputation is true. The righteousness is actually credited to believers through the grace of God producing faith and repentance. Like you, if Steve Lawson is a believer, this is not a license for sin, which I believe he is a believer, guys, I think. But this sin was was paid for and i'm not minimizing it okay but you have to realize the grace of god is what saves people it's not your performance now again there are many warnings in the bible against stuff like this and and they would indicate that someone might not be converted it depends on his reaction because teachers will be judged more strictly so we have to see that god is keeping perfect record in terms of rewards in terms of things steve lawson lost greatly when this happened. He lost greatly in heaven and reputation and, and all the things that he worked so hard for. And he was a bulldog for the gospel. He's preaching and he's clear and all the provisionalists and all the people are tap dancing. I like, ha ha ha. Anyone that takes that position is probably not converted. You should not be glad that this happened to a solid, kind, Bible preaching uh, guy that's been in the trenches for decades. However, we can't put our hope in people. We can't put your hope in Steve Lawson, John MacArthur, R.C. Sproul, people like that. We've got to put our trust in the life, death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ. And of course, God always looks at the heart. So again, this video is really just meant to say, check your own heart on this. Guard your own steps in this. Um, don't try to be the judge of Steve Lawson. He has a judge, and that was settled at Calvary or will be settled in eternity. And I believe that uh, any person in ministry needs to learn to guard your steps. Don't be alone when you travel. I think that's really unwise. Traveling for itinerant, itinerant ministry, it could be very dangerous. So these are all guards that you need to put in place, and you really need to pray for unity in the body and for specifically the Reformed side of the church uh, to be kind and gracious. But also, yeah, Steve Lawson is disqualified from ministry. I think everybody agrees with that. Unless more facts come to light and, and we're missing something, you know, that is possible. But from the appearance of what we have so far and from his own admission, it seems pretty straightforward. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're still watching this, don't forget to take a moment and hammer that like button. And uh, leave a comment below. Thank you so much and God bless.